Hey everybody, Chris here. So I'm working on this Steinway Square and rebushing the keys. And uh, here's some of them before I start. Right here I've got the bushing soaked, or soaking I should say. I'm gonna see how easy the uh, bushings come out. Oh yeah. That looks like they're wrapped under. But the glue I got weakened. They must fold underneath. And here I've got where all the cloth is out. And I've got the sizing calls in there. Okay, and now I've got the bushing on one side. And I'm going to be putting the bushing on the other side. And I'm going to be showing you my uh, kind of a new method of putting the key bushings in so that uh, it's comfortable to do. Uh, in the traditional way, the keys are all in key clamps and uh, kind of creates, uh, when you're putting in the bushings and using the calls and cutting, it kind of creates odd hand positions sometimes. So to avoid that, I'm trying something new. So here's what I came up with. Instead of using the key clamps, I'm going to use a uh, vise and just do one key at a time. And I found that this allows me to use the same hand position and uh, which I'm finding is very comfortable. Alright. I'm going to play with this method for a while and see how, how it works out. It's probably a little slower than all the keys in the call and just changing your hand position as you go, but um, I think I like this better. I'm not really in a terrible rush. Uh, one other thing is the uh, it helps. You keep it like this, all the glue settles to the bottom, and then you got to wait. So what we do is we just keep it in a jar like that. Wait, when I squeeze the bottle, the glue is ready to go. All right, thanks for watching.